Today I've got three misconceptions about Zillow that you need to know about. Yeah, I said it. Talking about the big bad Zillow. The first misconception about Zillow has to be their Zestimates. They don't know. They've never been to your house. It's simply a computer algorithm, people. Do not trust it. According to Zillow's own website, in the state of Oklahoma, just 84% of Zestimates are actually within 5% of what the home actually sells for. And that's the good news, because an off-market house, their estimate only 33% of the time are they within 5% of the sales price. In fact, only half of the time are they within 10%. Now think, a $250,000 house could be off by $25,000. That's a lot of dollars you're leaving on the table. So don't trust a Zestimate. Instead, trust a local, experienced, top producing real estate professional. The second misconception about Zillow has to be pre-foreclosures. I probably get asked about a pre-foreclosure once a week. The crazy part is they're not even real. They're not like, they're not even a thing. I mean, the property is actually out there, but it's not for sale. Again, go back to Zillow's own website. Read the fine print. They will actually tell you that with a pre-foreclosure, most of the time, the property's not actually listed for sale. You cannot go look at it. You cannot go get it. Basically, Zillow's telling you that the homeowner is behind on their payment, that the notice of default or list pendants has been filed against them, but the homeowner does have the right to catch up their late payments, and therefore the home may never go for sale. If I were you, I'd definitely keep an eye on the property, but don't get your hopes up and certainly don't pass up a good opportunity, like a real one, you know, a house that's actually for sale. The third and final misconception about Zillow that I wanna to talk to you about is the contact agent button. Oftentimes consumers think that's gonna connect them to the listing realtor who somehow has privileged information and additional insight that they're gonna gain from contacting them directly. False. All you're doing is freely giving your information to Zillow, who then turns around and sells it to real estate agents so they can all bombard and bug you. After just a few inquiries on different properties, it's almost a guarantee that you'll have 19 different realtors contacting you for the next several weeks. It's a blasty blast. And just remember, if you ever have a question about what your home is worth or a specific question about a property that's for sale, just contact me directly and I'm always here to help. The pre-foreclosures. Oh, just takes me off thinking about them. Might be able to catch up on their payments, pay up, pay up. <laughs> don't get your hopes up and certainly don't pass up. <laughs> and, and certainly, and certainly don't pass up, don't pass up a good opportunity. I don't know what's so hard to say. What did I just say? I don't even know what's going on right now. Who am I? There's thir <clears throat> Screwed it up again. Don't use that take. Let's try this next one. All right. Even if it's for sale by owner or maybe brand new, <laughs> It's just not my day. These videos, I'll tell you only. I do it for you. I do it for you right there. The microphone. Oh my God. Oh my dear Lord. Oh my God. You weren't freaking plugged in. I swear to God. I swear. Oh my God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm literally, literally gonna kill somebody. Like right now. Like, who do we want to kill? Is anybody in the office? Let's kill someone. <laughs>